Okay, my friends, this starts a new regime. Now, I mentioned that I am going to basically separate between the mud fossil geology type work and the energy, light, and the material uh, existence work which is more chemistry and physics and so forth. And usually the people that like that don't like this. It's the way it works. So I'm separating. Now, light, they don't even still understand really what light is. This is just from, uh, from uh, July 2022. It's only a few months ago. What is light, matter, or energy? Light is both a particle and a wave. Yes, it is. But is it a particle? Nope, light is a no wave. Nope, it's a particle. They don't know. They know it does both things and they have no idea why. Because they don't understand the dipole nature of it. So if you want to understand it totally, you're going to have to come to the other channel and and we're going to get deep. We're going to get into the weights and the measurements and the whole nine yards. Everything that I have determined about light, and I have determined it's a dipole, it has a positive and a negative side, and light itself contains the dark matter. Okay, I said light is a particle and a wave. This is the particle. As it goes through the air, it has a magnetic field around it. That field pushes everything, creates a wave. But it is a particle. And the periodic chart has to change because the dark spot here is dark matter. And it's attached to the white matter we always consider the light. Fermi Lab has seen them, CERN's seen them, they understand them. And they show them as the two particles that make up literally everything. These are the smallest particles that exist. The muon and electron neutrino, and they turn into muon and electron showers, precisely what we show. Now, I am going to go into extreme detail with this on my other channel. Alright, the other picture I showed you, you actually saw the photon. And there it is, right in the middle of this wave, creating a magnetic field in front of it. So every other magnetic particle has to get out of the way. Particle-wave duality is the only thing that can happen. It's like a boat going through the water. The boat is the particle, but it makes a wave as it goes. It's going to push everything out of the way. See, I can explain this within seconds. I can actually display and show. Listen to what they have to say. The debate has raged for generations amongst the giants of physics community regarding the nature of light. Namely, whether it is a particle or an electromagnetic wave, which I think I just showed you, it's both. For centuries, this mystery and elusive phenomena left scientists baffled because with each experiment conducted to define its nature, it seemed to change the way it behaved. They call that the observer effect. And what that means is they were putting in little magnetic sensors to sense how much energy was there and they were taking the energy out with the sensors that's why every time they turn the sensor off it would be okay they put the sensor and turn it on it would be no good and and the harder they looked at things meaning the more more energy they put into the system it, it, it disturbed the thing more and more so they never got the same result hey, we, what we're using is a receiving device a cell phone it has no interaction with we're picking up the particle's radiation and it's ultra high energy radiation that's why we can see it so well all right so this is the kind of stuff i have to get them to look at and they, they won't pay any attention to me and i know why because they don't like the other things that i do they don't like the mud fossils and all the rest you know the light is a part of them. well light is a wave and nope light is an electromagnetic wave they have no idea None whatsoever. When you keep reading through a double slit experiments, we use a single slit venturi. So anyway, that's that's why I need to get back to an audience that will pay attention to this. And I know they will if I can get this shown in mainstream. It can't be denied. It's just they don't like the rest of what I do. 
So avoidance is the accepted way to deal with this. And that has destroyed the possibility we could have free energy. And I've shown this a million times. That high energy particle could very well be able to create high energy impact on some receiver, a solar type receiver with high absorption of these particles. Because they're at least 207 times more powerful than what was before. And again, here's all the physics right there. The muon is 207 times, well, never mind. We're going to, I'm going to have this on the other channel. And again, that's all I'm asking. If you're not interested in that stuff, don't go. That's all. Thank you. I love you all.